Welcome to Gender Queer Atheist News, a sampling of the daily Gender Queer Atheist Reader. You are welcome to join Gender Queer Atheists on Facebook. Subscribe to Gender Queer Atheists on YouTube. Network with us at Gender Queer Atheist on Atheist Nexus. Links are available in the description below this video. <laughs> Transgender Housing Network is a temporary housing network intended to connect trans, gender fluid, and gender queer people in need with safe and supported places to crash. If you have or are in need of a couch, floor, or spare room, submit with any relevant information you're willing to share and they'll try and connect you with other couch lenders or surfers near you. They will try to use the relevant postable information given in submissions or ask to tag have couch and need couch posts with useful information like location keywords, city, province, state, country, etc. in order to make it as easy as possible for people to find postings from their location. You can reach them at transhousingnetwork.com. From Raw Story, student who dressed as Jesus on Fictional Character Day gets $1,000 scholarship by Eric W. Dolan. A student who dressed up as Jesus Christ for his high school's Fictional Character Day will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship from the Freedom from Religion Foundation. 17-year-old Jeff Schott, a student at Summit High School in Tennessee, wore the costume to school in January. He decided to wear the costume because of his science teacher. The teacher had expressed skepticism about evolutionary theory and had told students that, quote, we actually come from Adam and Eve, end quote. Legislation, recently signed into law, allows public school teachers in Tennessee to teach so-called alternatives to mainstream scientific theory. School officials, including the principal, took Schott aside and warned him that he would have to remove the religiously themed costume if it caused any disruption. Quote, Both principals said they were worried my costume would spark religious debates in every class and take up large amounts of time, Schott said. I was sternly warned that if even one teacher reported the slightest disruption, I would have to take off my costume. Then and there, I decided to take it off, end quote. When Schott went home, he uploaded pictures of his costume to the social media website reddit.com and described what had happened. Commenters on the website encouraged him to contact the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Quote, Statistics show that the least trusted and most despised American minority is the atheist community, Schott said. I, along with most of my atheist friends and family, have experienced this firsthand. End quote. Schools have struggled to balance the First Amendment rights of students with the need to maintain order. Public school students have First Amendment rights like every other American, but the Supreme Court has ruled that those rights can be reasonably limited to prevent disruption to education. Editor's Note May 6th of this year was the 85th anniversary of the infamous Scopes trial. This trial was an American legal case that tested the Butler Act, which made it unlawful to teach any thoughts on the origin of man other than the biblical account of man's origin. In other words, it was illegal to teach evolution. John T. Scopes taught his students science rather than biblical creation and was put on trial for doing so. This from the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force. New study finds genderqueer people face unique patterns of abuse and discrimination. Genderqueer people face distinct patterns of discrimination and violence, according to a new study based on the data set gathered for Injustice at Every Turn, a report to the National Transgender Discrimination Survey from the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force and National Center for Transgender Equality. The study, a gender not listed here, gender queers, gender rebels, and otherwise in the National Transgender Discrimination Survey, was just published by the LGBTQ Policy Journal at the Harvard Kennedy School. It examines the experiences of gender queer individuals and others who clearly identify as neither male or female. A gender not listed here found that when compared to transgender identity respondents surveyed for injustice at every turn, genderqueer respondents said they were more likely to be unemployed, 
76% versus 56%, suffer physical assault, 32% versus 25%, experience harassment by law enforcement, 31% versus 21%, and forego health care treatment due to fear of discrimination, 36% versus 27%. There were other measures in which transgender respondents suffered higher levels of discrimination or harassment. Quote, these findings aren't just groundbreaking for our academic understanding of gender queer experience, said study author Jack Harrison of National Gay and Lesbian Task Force's Policy Institute. As with injustice at every turn, these are a call to action. No one should have to get up in the morning fearing they will be denied a job, abused by police, mistreated by a doctor, or attacked while walking down the street simply because of their gender identity and expression. For gender queer people, this is a harsh and unacceptable reality. End quote. The study also found that genderqueer individuals have distinct demographic characteristics. Compared to other injustice at every turn respondents, they were more likely to be people of color. 30% were people of color versus 23% who were people of color in the overall sample. And young people, 89% versus 68% were under age 45. These demographic findings mark a crucial new development in the understanding of the way race and age affect gender identity and expression-based discrimination. Thanks for listening to Gender Queer Atheist News, a sampling of the daily Gender Queer Atheist Reader. You are welcome to join us on Gender Queer Atheists on Facebook, subscribe to Gender Queer Atheist YouTube, and network with us at Gender Queer Atheists on Atheist Nexus. Links are available in the description below this video. Music by Kevin McLeod. I'm Rogie Riverstone.